So, you want to find some buried treasure? Well, go ahead and find yourself a pirate buddy, and let's go look for some booty. Alright guys, hey guys, welcome back to by Kai, I'm Kai, we're back with today, taking a look at how to make a GIF in GIMP. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. This is a very simple thing to do. We'll go ahead and go up to new file and then hit new. We'll create a new image uh, size. I'm going to make a square today. So we'll do like 500 by 500 um, like this, which looks pretty cool. We'll go ahead. And now we can actually create our GIF as it were. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and each layer is going to be a new frame of the GIF. So we're going to go ahead and change my brush to a hard style brush. And I'm going to make my pixel size maybe about... Um, about 50 pixels big, I suppose. Now this background layer, we're actually gonna call this frame one. Nice. Um, and then on frame two, we're gonna create a new layer, and we're hit. Uh, we'll call this frame two, as you were to assume. Now with frame two, I want to go ahead and actually make something come into the frame. So we'll go ahead and like do like this, and have a little a little piece come up, right? Hit this new frame again. Hit OK. And now because I want it to look like it's jittering around a little bit, and I don't want it to look like it's just extending like that, I'm gonna go ahead and just fully delete. Um, this uh, what's whatever's on this this uh, layer. So I've just done it by hitting delete the, de the delete key. You can still see it because we have frame two still active. So frame three is what we're going to call this. Frame three is now empty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide each layer that we have underneath the one we're working on. Um, so as you can see right there, that's where frame two is. I'm actually going to leave that one on and drop the opacity so we can use a little bit of like a onion layer kind of thing. Go back to frame three and then we can just draw over that again like that right um and i actually want this to be like look, looking like it's going kind of fast so we'll make that a little bit longer actually like that cool now um we'll go ahead and make sure uh frame two's opacity is all the way back up and then make sure that we uh create a new frame and hide all of these so hit this little new button hit uh frame four and now we can go ahead and turn this one back on turn it down a little bit so we have an onion skin and then on frame four we'll go ahead and do like this and i kind of want to like it's bouncing off a little bit so we'll do like that and then we will go ahead and make sure that's all the way back up hide both of those and then hit new frame five i'm gonna do six frames maybe so two more go ahead and drop the opacity so we have an onion skin maybe slow down the velocity a bit like that nice 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 um we'll put that all the way back up this is the process, but we are almost there. We'll just drop this one down, hit new, frame, maybe maybe more than six frames. All right, back up, hide that. Actually, wait, no, oop, I messed up. All right, uh, let me put this like this, like that, and back up, hide this one, make it lower so we have the onion skin. Frame seven, nice. We, we paint on this one. Like that, and then I'm gonna have it go off the screen on this one. Nice. Okay, so um, back up, turn it down, new frame eight. There we go. Something like that. Probably do two more frames, and that's all. Nice. And then we just hide that one. One more frame. We'll call this one frame nine, of course. We'll do 10 frames. Perfect. 10 frame GIF. You love to see it. All right, now uh turn this like this and then the last frame will just be an empty frame the last frame will just be an empty frame so we go and right click new layer um and then call this 10 and then make sure everything is set up so now we have 10 frames I do like this comes in comes in comes in bounces over like that comes across down all right nice so now we have all that set up you can see if we were to go ahead and uh make sure all of these are visible like that we can go ahead and go to file export as and then we can go ahead and make sure that we have everything uh set up for uh the the gif making so we'll go ahead and change this from png to a gif like that you can go ahead and hit export and when, we, when this says export you can see it'll pop up a little box that is different than the export png or, or jpg or whatever um and it will say interlace we don't need to worry about that gift comment you can turn it on and off you can make a thing that says made by kai nice as animation make sure it's as animation is checked or else it won't like 
you know, be a moving animation. Um, and now this is the part where you're going to have to probably mess around with it a little bit until you find the bit that you, the, the way you want it to be. So, um, delay between frames where unspecified. So basically what that means is that this is how fast the animation is going to go. So 100 milliseconds is going to be in between each of these frames that we have. So, um, so what we need to do is we need to test to see if this is enough time in between these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and export. And now once that's exported, I'm going to go over here to my folder on my other monitor. I'm going to try and see if I can pull up that uh, that GIF. And now you can see what we have here is it will actually play. As you can see, it's playing and it's being a GIF. Um, but the issue is, as you can see, all of the frames are still being visible after each one of the frames uh, plays. So we can go ahead and close this out and go back to export. Oop, go back to export, export as, export, replace. Um, and then we can go ahead and make sure that we have uh, other things set up. So frame disposal where unspecified. This is the bit that we need. So we're going to go ahead and instead of having I don't care or cumulative layers, which basically means they're just going to stack, we're going to make sure this says one frame per layer, which is going to replace the last frame that, we, that we had. So it's going to get rid of the last one and play the new one, which means it's going to look like it's actually playing like, it's supposed to instead of just adding on top of each other so make sure this is on one frame per layer and now we can go ahead and export and we can play this once again you can see that this will play as a gif like it's supposed to and there we go now if you want to make this faster or slower of course change the um, millisecond time so let's go back one more time export as export replace and then we go ahead and change this to like 50 milliseconds so the lower you go the, the faster it's going to be and the higher you go the more the, the longer it's going to be because there's more milliseconds in between each frame so export open it up again and as you can see this plays much faster than it did before so make sure you find that sweet spot and go ahead and make some gifts make some cool stuff i hope this helps you out and anyway i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye